Active Recall is one of the secrets that has allowed me to be a consistent A star A student. And if you want to know how to do it in five different ways, keep watching. Hi guys, my name is Liddy and I'm a UK based medical student. I use this channel to document my journeys becoming a doctor while also sharing student tips. Active Recall is one of the most effective methods for long term retention and cementing the information that we consume. However, many students don't actually know the different ways that they can apply Active Recall to their study routines successfully. Number one is speaking a process back to a friend. This is such an underrated yet useful technique. Instead of simply thinking about your notes and maybe passively reading it to yourself, you can actually say it out loud to a friend who can then check that what you are saying is correct. A common mistake that students make is thinking that they know a topic accurately and correctly. But teaching it to a friend and saying it out loud solidifies that information in your head and it can also expose any gaps in your knowledge that you may need to clarify. Me and Hazal used to do this so much, especially during A-levels, and you'll be surprised how certain and facts and topics just stick in your head after using this method. Research actually shows that the dual action of speaking and hearing yourself speak helps the brain to store that information so that it becomes long-term memory. This process is called the production effect, so make sure that you give it a go. Next, we have alert mind maps. This is actually one of my favorites and I learned this topic from another YouTuber called Unjada Jade and this is honestly a lifesaver. To make a blurt mind map, all you need to do is put all of your notes away, simply grab a piece of paper, then choose the topic that you'll be blurting about. Then using a pen or pencil, you can jot down absolutely everything that you remember about that topic. I'd usually do this with a 10 minute timer on and using a black pen. Once time is up, I open my revision notes and correct what I have written with a green pen. You can compare what you have written on the blurt mind map to your revision notes. This will show you what parts of the topic you know well and what parts of the topic that you don't know as much as you thought you did, which can help you direct your revision towards those weaker topics. This is such a simple and straightforward way to do active recall. Number three is flashcards. This one is a given and I know that many of you have heard about them, but that is only because flashcards are elite. Whether you make your own flashcards or you use pre-made flashcards, they are so good for facilitating repetition. They are the best way to create multiple memory enhancing recall events. In fact, they are my main way of revising. Research has found that this type of active recall retrieval practice leads to 150% better retention than passive studying. Number four is drawing images from memory. Drawing things out from the top of your head really helps with better comprehension. Especially in degrees like medicine, drawing out structures like the great vessels of the heart and then taking it a step further by adding colour or labelling really helps to solidify that information in your head. So this is a sign to invest in some colouring pens and get sketching. Number five is kinesthetic learning techniques. This is a learning style in which learning takes place by students actually carrying out physical activity. And I think for practical exams, this is the best way to prepare and do active recall. For example, at medical school, we have clinical examinations called OSCEs and Hazar and I will literally practice the examinations on each other as if it was a real thing. One person will be the patient, another person will be the doctor with a stethoscope out and we'll just go through all the different examinations, go through the checklist together and ensure that we memorize each step. And I can confidently say that in the span of like two weeks, we went from knowing 20% of the relevant examinations to a good 80%. If we go beyond academic boundaries, we actually see the same principle being applied for driving tests. When learning to drive a car, you undertake lots and lots of practical sessions because this is the best way to cement your knowledge in the different things involved in driving a car. Don't write off this method of active recall just because your topic or your degree isn't as practical as you think. Where you can apply it and implement it, you should because it is honestly an amazing way to prepare, revise and do that active recall efficiently and successfully. If you want to learn more useful study methods then be sure to check out my playlist on study tips that will be on screen somewhere i really hope that you guys enjoy this video and i'll be sure to see you in the next video bye